Reading Pioneers presents I Have to Go! Story by Robert Munch Arts by Michael Marchenko One day, Andrew's mother and father were taking him to see his grandma and grandpa. Before they put him in the car, his mother said, Andrew, do you have to go pee? Andrew said, no. No, 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 no. His father said, very slowly and clearly, Andrew, do you have to go pee? No, 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 said Andrew. I have decided never to go pee again. So they put Andrew into the car, fastened his seatbelt, and gave him lots of books and lots of toys and lots of crayons and drove off down the road. Vroom! They had been driving for just one minute when Andrew yelled, I have to go pee! Yikes! said the father. Oh no! said the mother. Then the father said, Now, Andrew, wait just five minutes. In five minutes, we will come to a gas station where you can go pee. Andrew said, I have to go pee right now! So the mother stopped the car. Andrew jumped out of the car and peed behind a bush. When they got to Grandma's and Grandpa's house, Andrew wanted to go out to play. It was snowing, and he needed a snowsuit. Before they put on the snowsuit, the mother and the father and the grandma and the grandpa all said, Andrew, do you have to go pee? Andrew said, no, 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 no. So they put on Andrew's snowsuit. It had five zippers, 10 buckles, and 17 snaps. It took them half an hour to get the snowsuit on. Andrew walked out into the backyard, threw one snowball, and yelled, I have to go pee! The father and the mother and the grandma and the grandpa all ran outside, got Andrew out of the snowsuit, and carried him to the bathroom. When Andrew came back down, they had a nice long dinner. Then it was time for Andrew to go to bed. Before they put Andrew into bed, the mother and the father and the grandma and the grandpa all said, Andrew! Do you have to go pee? Andrew said, No, 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 no. So his mother gave him a kiss, and his father gave him a kiss, and his grandma gave him a kiss, and his grandpa gave him a kiss. Just wait, said the mother. He's going to yell and say he has to go pee. Oh, said the father. He does it every night. It's driving me crazy. The grandmother said, I never had these problems with my children. They waited for five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. The father said, I think he is asleep. The mother said, Yes, I think he is asleep. The grandmother said, He is definitely asleep, and he didn't yell and say he had to go pee. Then Andrew said, I wet my bed. So the mother, and the father, and the grandma, and the grandpa all changed Andrew's bed and Andrew's pajamas. Then the mother gave him a kiss, and the father gave him a kiss, 
and the grandma gave him a kiss, and the grandpa gave him a kiss, and the grown-ups all went downstairs. They waited five minutes, ten minutes, fifteen minutes, twenty minutes, and from upstairs, Andrew yelled, "Grandpa, do you have to go pee?" And Grandpa said, "Why, yes, I think I do." Andrew said, "Well, so do I." So they both went to the bathroom and peed in the toilet. And Andrew did not wet his bed again that night, not even once. Robert Munch is one of North America's best loved storytellers and children's writers. Once, while Munch was telling stories to a small group of children, a young boy in the front row had to go pee. His father picked him up and hurried out. When the child returned, he asked Robert Munch. To make up a story about him, I have to go. Is Robert's fifteenth book. He now spends much of his time telling stories as he travels throughout the continent. The Munch family lives in Guelp, Ontario. Michael Marchenko was born in France. He moved to Canada and graduated from the Ontario College of Art. He now lives in Toronto and is known internationally for the books he has illustrated. From Robert Munch and Alan Morgan. Thank you, everyone, for listening to this audio recording. For more information regarding Reading Pioneers and these audiobooks, come visit us at readingpioneers.com. Also, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to keep up to date on all of our reading materials. For other audiobooks, please check out our library from the links on the right. They'll show you all of the books that we have, and hopefully you'll enjoy reading them as well. From Reading Pioneers, thanks for listening, and have a wonderful day.